Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, in an abundance of caution, the NCPD has raised the threat level to two, advising travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. Welcome to today's local news on N54. I'm Jillian Jordan. For the third consecutive year, Militech has been touted as Night City's best corporation to work for. This prestigious award can be attributed to the numerous employee benefits they offer, such as five paid vacation days a year, unlimited access to stimulant pharmaceuticals, and implant acquisition assistance. Were that not impressive enough, 34% of Militech employees have also been promised a retirement package. In other news, the NCPD welcomes a boost to its authority. As of today, the police may detain criminal suspects for up to one year without formal prosecution. The NCPD scored another victory with the adoption of a policy allowing the shooting of a limb to be considered a warning shot, a change that should keep officers safer. The Knight City Office of Cybernetic Technology has been formally dissolved as a result of budget cuts. The office formerly responsible for implant certification will shutter its doors next Tuesday. The administrators of implant authorization are now the manufacturers, guided by the standards they themselves have established. Thank you for joining all of us here at N54 News. We'll see you next time. Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 10. 70% real 
imperial blood dripping meat. Slaughterhouse, satisfy your instincts. Rachel Kasich. You may remember her from such BDs as Maxwell's Rehab and Cyber Psychos. Rachel's been known to rustle a few hornets' nests, and she's at it again with her latest project, The Passion of Joshua. Did your publicist tell me right? You want to recreate Christ's crucifixion? That's exactly right, Ziggy. Complete with nails, spears, thorns, all the gory details? Right again, Ziggy, just as the Bible describes it. Were you only taking auditions from actors who have experience in coming back from the dead? Zombies, maybe? <laughs> no, unfortunately, that wasn't something we hoped to achieve with this project. In that case, I'm guessing you didn't have many actors eager and lined up for the role. No, no. Our search began in the prison system with people on death row, seeing as how they were destined to die soon anyway. Well, why not die for you? No, not for us. Their death would help others. We hope the experience will awaken something in people, give them insight and direction in their lives. And you have no issue casting a loathsome criminal as the savior of the universe? I'll answer you with a piece of wisdom from St. John Chrysostom. Be ashamed when you sin. Don't be ashamed when you... Our actor, Joshua Stevenson, has committed horrible crimes, it's true, but he deeply regrets them and he seeks redemption. If it's not too early, what's next for you after this? St. Lawrence burned alive on a spit? St. Cassian stabbed to death by children? That depends on the success of this project. We're always eager to make sequels. <laughs> oh, I just hope we have enough convicts to go around. Thank you, Rachel, and until next time, Night City! Shroomers, shroomers, and fumers, Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Kaboom! Soya Sil Machistador, an explosion of taste. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. Are there smoke? This far is. Oh, she don't. Such a 
Milford flavor with Capitan Caliente's world famous tacos, now in whale size. Nicola! Taste the love! Don't make trouble. Be in trouble. But there's smoke. This far is.
don't make trouble, be in trouble. But there's smoke. This fire. Shroomers, shroomers, and humors, Mr. Whitey here. Drop that. Synthetic meat, you're in for a treat. Try ours today. And this is WNS News. In today's international segment, we turn our eyes towards Asia. The summit between China and India has ended with the signing of a new trade agreement. Under the agreement, the tariffs for iridium, dysprosium, and lanthanum, rare metals necessary for the construction of the Chi U 2 orbital station, have been lifted. The signatories have also agreed to the free movement of organic persons and biopotters between the two countries. This is the latest step in the two nations' push for greater economic integration and the benefits such cooperation brings. This flies in stark contrast to the NUSA's protectionism and trade war policies under President Myers. In science news, biotechnical researchers have announced another breakthrough in genetics. The restoration of three previously extinct animal species. The North American beaver, the swift fox, and the eastern cottontail. Though back from the dead, these species will not be reintroduced to their natural habitats for fear of an increased risk of zoonotic disease, similar to the great bird flu of 2061 and the rat fever of 2072. For the time being, the animals will only be grown on special order. The people of Turkey are bracing themselves for a radioactive sandstorm yet again this year. Meteorologists expect southern winds to carry several dozen tons of irradiated dust from the former states of Syria, Iraq, and Iran. The fallout from these territories, devastated during the so-called suicide war, remain the primary source of radiation that falls onto Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean. After the break, we take a closer look at the new sneakers from Avante that hit nice city shelves tomorrow. Nicola!
My name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. In today's international segment, reports of hardship have emerged from Alaska. According to the Incorporated Press, corn harvests have dropped by 80% from last year's yields, the result of catastrophically heavy rains and floods plaguing the region. Local authorities are under obligation to provide nearly 80 million bushels of their crop to Biotechnica the engineers behind the frost corn hybrid species. The city of Juneau now faces a difficult choice of whether to honor the agreement, causing severe shortages in Alaska, or break the contract and forego next year's seed corn delivery from Biotechnica. Whether you believe Alaskans deserve humanitarian aid, or perhaps a lesson in self-reliance, cast your vote at the address below. Freak accident or targeted attack? Nano bees terrorize the residents of Milan. Eyewitness accounts tell us 7 million of the Fengwang nanobots suddenly ceased their pollination functions and buzzed straight for the Lombardy capital, though the cause remains unknown. The nano bees infested several buildings and moving vehicles, causing numerous reported accidents. The mayor of Milan, Lorenzo Ricci, announced the formation of an investigative committee to determine the cause behind the bizarre phenomenon. Ever dreamed of being a head of state? Now may be your chance. Luxury real estate firm No Limits At All has announced another 15 artificial islands available for sale now. Each island spans at least three square miles and possesses a foundation built to withstand an eight on the Richter scale. Because they are located in international waters, island owners fall under no nation's jurisdiction and are free to establish and enforce local law and custom. For more information on your future slice of paradise, visit the address below. In the meantime, this lovely West Coast weather isn't a bad substitute. Thanks for tuning in, Night City.
330% of recommended daily value. 70% real blood dripping meat. Slaughterhouse, satisfy your instincts. Nicola! Taste the love! Shroomers and humors, Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the knee. 